Hi, I'm Erica. I'm an Ontario certified teacher and author. Most of my experience is in the early years where I specialize in the importance of play-based learning and outdoor play. I am thrilled to be here today with Ensemble to speak with Paloma Ventes, the marketing director of Goldfish, about the Imagination Index, which examines parents' perceptions of imagination. So Paloma, we are living through a global pandemic, which has had an impact on everyone, including children. Do you think COVID has had a negative impact or a positive impact on imagination? Yeah, that's a great question. And it's a question is on all our minds every day. Um, and actually what we found out on the Goldfish Imagination Index is that parents are split. So we found out that actually a third um, thought their kids' imagination suffered during this time. A third thought it was the same. And the rest of them thought it was increased. So parents were split in that topic. But, you know, it is something that is top of mind for all of us. And, and, um, and I believe that we should all be encouraging our imaginations, our kids' imagination. And that's the whole purpose behind Fit Imagination uh, with our calling our parents across Canada to submit their artwork um, and their children's video for a chance to have their kids' imagination be featured across billboards um, in Canada. So some parents do feel that as children grow older, they actually become less imaginative. How do we encourage imagination in such a digital world? Yeah, so the interesting point is that they, the parents thought, um, actually 77% of the parents thought that um, signs that we could use our imagination more often were related to technology. Um, and they, the, the things that were top of mind for them to encourage kids' imagination with, were things related to building, um, or related to um, acting, storytelling, um, more artistic related activities. And do you think there's a way to sort of bridge this gap between imagination and technology, you know, and this digital world? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think, I think we have to celebrate the power of imagination and it comes in multiple ways, right? It's not, there isn't one answer. Uh, technology is part of our lives. We have to figure it out. How do we, um, how do we use technology in a in a way that would encourage um, imagination uh, and and not as a a barrier, right? So it's 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 on us to figure out the best way to do that. And I f I feel raising awareness on the power of imagination um, is one of the things that we can do um, to unlock that. So my final question for you, which we sort of touched on a little bit. So do you have any ideas and tips for parents on how to help spark imagination? Any advice you want to share um, with us about your experiences at home with your own children? Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting because this whole journey started with us understanding how kids um, eat our crackers, eat goldfish during snack time. Right. So and the main thing that they do is they role play. Right. And and we find that a lot of parents also use it as a way to help kids count or or to develop some crafts. Um, so that this whole um, the insight for feed imagination for us really was on that nugget that hey, kids are already doing that. And how can we help? How can we celebrate and how, how can we show kids of uh, where imagination can take them. So that was all in the, in the root of how uh, we've developed the Fit Imagination platform. And as we uncovered all those many interesting insights on the importance of imagination, how, how Canadian parents um, agreed with all of that, all of all of that, that's how we developed uh, Fit Imagination contests. So I always love to talk about open-ended materials and letting children explore using materials that have more than one purpose. Um, just like you mentioned with the goldfish, it's storytelling with the goldfish, it's making letters out of the goldfish, counting the goldfish. So there's so much you can do with that. So I really yeah. appreciate yeah. that and I really and, love that. And it's interesting because that's exactly how the the video asset that we have from Fit Imagination, which is Michaela telling her story and her mom even mentions that in the video that 
she's very imaginative. I start a line, she follows me in another line, and then we build a story a story out of that, right? And then Terry is just uh, Tenny. She's just drawing, and it becomes a story just from there. So, I, it's it is you don't need much. All you need uh, is um, just just have the awareness that imagination is important, and how can you ha- support um, and help your kid to have fun? Because at the end of the day. It's all about the fun, right? And if you make it fun for kids, they will thrive, they will be engaged, and they will be encouraged uh, to continue doing. So Paloma, thanks again for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you today. It was uh, absolutely amazing to join the Ensemble team and just to share a little bit of what we've learned and how we're supporting parents um, and helping kids see the potential that Uh, being imaginative um, can unlock for them in life um, now and in the future.